Yo, what is up guys, and welcome to a new series on my channel um, from SLTR Gaming, and it is um, Destiny Mission Guides Episode 1, um, and we are doing the Dust Palace um, Strike, the this is exclusive to PS4 in the new DLC, so let's get into it. Right then, we've loaded in, I'm um, doing this with my brother and some random dude, um, but you won't be able to hear hear them because I'm doing the commentary after so first off you're going to want to head over to this dome type place take out a few guys here it's pretty easy we are doing this on level 26 um, I think it was yeah level 26 that's my brother right in front of us there um, this, this took about 15 minutes so it's not too long it's, uh, it's, it's a fairly easy strike especially with three people it is doable on your own however so you just move through this bit here you head down the lift shaft um, if you've never done this before, I'm sure they'll. If you're doing it with someone else, they will have done it. It's a fairly standard strike on the game. Just, uh, let it load up there. Bit of a minor glitch. <laughs> a banter. Um, right then. Now you're gonna want to head into this next room, and someone's gonna need to go and deploy their ghost over the um, back of the room. Now, when you do this, you're going to have to hold off for a few minutes. There's going to be enemies from the left, centre, and the right. So, uh, what we did was assign a person to each part of the room. Um, well, we said we were going to do that, but I just sort of killed everyone, because that's how good I am. Um, so, yeah. This is going to take a while. Here, you can see them spawning over there. Shoot them, kill them, do whatever you need to do to stay alive and move on. Now there's going, to, there's going to be a couple of waves, there's going to be this first wave here and then there's going to be another one with um, a guy who will have a yellow bar, he's a major I think it is, yeah. Um, so, yeah we've killed that first wave there. Ghost is still working at the back. Here we go, here's the second wave. These little small dudes. There's one down there. And then there's the there's the major over there that you're gonna wanna go and kill before he whoops your ass. Yeah. You're gonna go ahead and kill him. Once you killed him, the door will open and we can progress. I'm a bit fucking I'm a bit ham for fire here. Don't know what that means. Is that saying ham for fire? Right, I don't know if it is. Right, okay. We are through apparently. Sounds good to me. Right, move on through here. We go through this door and then down these stairs. Now this room you have to defend for a little bit. At the start, there's going to be a few guys up there. I opted to snipe, did I not? So you're going to want to take him out straight away because he can really ruin your game if you do not take him out. So you're going to want to do that straight away. Um, yeah, you can see there's a few guys up there. I went to snipe and realised it's probably a bad idea. Oh no, I did not. It seems that, yeah, I did not do that. I did indeed snipe him as I originally intended. Okay, now we're going to move up these stairs. Um, yeah, this, this room you've got to hold off for a little bit. It's one of the it's one of the main rooms. There's like two main rooms on this. There's this one and then the boss one, which takes some doing. It's not that hard, really. I don't know. Yeah, okay, so you're going to want to go once again to the back of the room, deploy the ghost at the door, and then you're going to have to hold off again. I can't remember how many waves there are Looks in like this section. I'll get it back together. Um, yeah, right. You're going to hold off for a bit in here. Let's wait for the dudes to spawn. Yeah, here they are. See my brother getting mashed up because he's not really that good at this game. Nah, I'm joking. Joking, joking, joking. Just a, just a bit of banter. Yeah, you're gonna want to be picking up ammo all the time. Uh, is jug was juggler on for this? I'm not. I, I don't think so. I don't think there's juggler on for this. However, it could be. So don't take my word for it. Let's hold off in this room. It's sort of just you don't want to sweep it through, really. You know, don't just stay in one place and wait for them to come to you. Because a, they might never do it, and b, you're gonna be there for ages. So. What you're gonna want to do is just sweep the whole room, but at the same time you don't want to you don't want to go in totally guns blazing because there are some quite hard enemies, especially when you first enter the room. But with Almost three people, there. it should the be fine. Was more extensive than I thought. <coughs> 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 it 
to excuse my <coughs> illness. Right then, what am I doing here? Um, yeah, okay, so you need to hold off. I was a bit out of it here. Realising that the only enemies that had spawned were around the other side by the door. I think once we kill these, that's a major, was it there? I think so. Once we kill it. these, um, Let's keep moving. yeah, right, we can move on now. Move on to the next room. You gotta remember if you're trying this on Xbox 360, Xbox One, PS3, it ain't gonna work because this is a PS4 a exclusive strike. You can do this in the mission and as a mission and what have you, but as a strike like this in the this is in the new DLC playlist. By the way, we are doing this, which is how we got it level 27. Um, yeah. Okay, so I'll make my mistake. This is another room where you're going to want to hold off, but at the same time push forwards. That sounds quite complicated. However, it's very easy if you just watch. You will learn. Here we go. Take these dudes out. Especially that one with the uh, the one who had the armor. He could he could ruin a day out for you if you're not careful. Uh, okay, we move on through this door and deploy yet another ghost. Once again, kind of at the back of the room. Um, and then the best thing for this room, really, is to get everyone up here. If they're not all in a party, then you need to sort of signal to them to get up here because this is the ultimate way to be doing this um, strike. You want to be up there. It's not a it's not a hardest strike like. You can do it other ways, but this is probably the best way that I would say you want to do this. Um, the shit does get pretty hectic, as you'll see in a minute. When I failed to remember that I had my super, then I remembered and used it at the wrong time. You'll see any minute now. Yes, right about now. Well, should I get him up? Oh, no, wait, there's dudes there. I'm going to die. I did get him up, and I was like, oh, yeah, I'm just super. Shot for a bit here. Don't need super. Oh wait, I do need super. Oh no, I don't. Because everyone, all my other teammates have killed him. So you don't want to go wasting opportunities like I am there. And then you want to get back up on this platform with your teammates. Also, it keeps it nice and compact so that if one of you does go down, you're straight there to revive them. There's no vigilante mission needed. You're there, you can revive. There's, tough, there's a couple of tough enemies in here. There's a Minotaur, I think. Uh, and some little floaty things that I don't know the names of. Because if you knew the name of every fucking uh, enemy in Destiny, you need to get out of the house a bit more. I can't say much, I know, but... Okay, yeah, you're going to get a major come down there. I'm not sure if there's any other enemies that come down there. Possibly. This is really bad of me. We did this like two minutes ago. Yeah, you sh you're just going to want to blitz the room. Um, you'll know when you can move on to the doodle so. Okay, yeah. Right, yeah, you can move on now into the next room. I don't know what my teammates were playing at there. I just thought, yeah, go back and uh, have a fight with it. With the squad, excuse the noise of my chair. Right then. Righty ho. You'll have to get through them to find the players. Righty ho, me hearties. Right, are we in the, yes, we are in the boss room now, we're in the final room, sorry, I was looking at my audio recording, we're in the final room now, um, at the start, at the start now, it's not too bad, you're just going to want to hold off for a minute, and then someone needs to deploy the ghost, as you'll see me do in a minute, when that happens, um, you will see, you will see that you, you want to try and get your whole team over there, so that when the first boss spawns, you can just hammer him full blown. Yeah, so you're going to take these guys out, and then there's a little room on the right here. You're going to want to head into that and get your ghost deployed. I think i do it now. Yes. Okay, well, that works. It's magic. You want to really get your teammates over here because, yeah, th th that little ring is where the first boss is going to spawn. So you're going to want to get everyone ready to fully hammer him. Because they're, they're really small, but they do a lot of damage. And this, this, if you're not careful, can go on for a very long time. If you look at this video, over half half of the video is just spent on the, 
the final boss part, but you know, it's the way Destiny rolls at it. Right, yeah, you sh literally in the boss room, you know the objectives, man. If you played Destiny before, you get you got to take the boss, you got to take the boss or bosses down. But at the same time, you've got to take care of the little minion friends who are going to try and stop you from doing that. No matter what, you're going to have to you have to fight against them. I supered him and blasted him across the other side of the room. Also, one thing to watch when you are doing this is um, that really uh, they're going to drop a lot. Two, well, depending on how long you take to do this, maybe I think it's two or three ships worth of um, enemies in on you, which can cause real havoc. As you see in a minute, a uh, couple of people die, or maybe it's just my brother, I don't know. A few people die, and shit got a bit cray, um, so yeah. But yeah, the, the, the bosses are those little things that spawn on the circles. They've got purple shit around them, yellow bars, you'll just know, you know when it's a boss. This one thought he could come and start on us all, but he seriously, seriously couldn't, so, you know, he seriously just wasn't having it. He thought he was, he come up, I was like, mate, you want some beef? Turn back around, went back down the stairs, mate, you scared of me. Uh, yeah, I kind of assigned the job uh, to myself here while well, those two guys were running out up front, taking out people on the floor. I was up top, um, sniping some of the bigger guys. Who, if you get in the head, you can occasionally kill with a one shotter. With this sniper that I have there, very good Vanguard sniper. I highly recommend it. Uh, okay, moving on as the music intensifies and the suspense. Again, this is where it starts to get a bit crazy now. We are currently around about uh, 13 minutes in. So yeah, a couple of three minutes left. Shit starts to start to get a bit crazy. But as you can see, the ship has just I missed that, sorry. The ship has just uh, dropped a shitload of enemies in and they're gonna be going for you lot mad because they won't want you to kill their boss man. That's their boss, man. That's who pays them. You know, they don't. They don't want that shit to. They don't want that happening. So yeah, you know, watch out for that. And the dudes at the back who I should have been taking care of, but I wasn't doing my job properly over there. The ones I'm going for now, you want to going to get rid of them because they rocket you like mad, and that can really, really cause you some problems. Right, we are. Man, you take him out, my son. You take him out, proper. Proper good and proper. Bam. Yeah, we're nearly we're, we're we're nearing the end now. As more enemies actually come up the stairs, which doesn't happen often. To be fair, this did take us longer longer than we wished or wanted or whatever the correct tense is there. Grammar I good much. Um, yeah, you, that's that's what you're gonna want to happen. You're gonna want to do it. The faster you do it, the easier it is. The less heat you have to deal with. You know, it's uh, it's happy days all round. Right, we're getting there now. We're getting there. The end is near. Yeah. Okay. So, so this is my brother dying now. Which sort of sent warning stations. I thought that dude was gonna stay and get him up. It looked pretty easy. He was like, "Hell no, I'm coming back." So I was like. Alright man, I'll go out on a vigilante mission, and bam, ship comes in, I was like, oh shit, didn't realise there was a dude there, run back, shitting myself. I jeopardised the whole mission there, that was, uh, that was pretty bad. Yeah, but as you can see, another ship load has just come in, so that's like three I've counted now. So yeah, it's two or three ship loads going to come in, depending on how long you take to do this. Um, and obviously how many people there are, and... Level and what have you. I'm sure there'll be people out there on YouTube who can do this in about five minutes. I am not one of those people. I'm just a normal boy. I never had a choice. Great. Best Spider Man line ever. Don't do it, kid. Didn't have a choice. Um, I hope I got that right. Otherwise, I'm missing like a right twat. Yeah, so this dude was kind of glitched. So I was trying to punch him out of the way. Uh, nearly got killed from it. It was pretty hectic. This dude grenaded in, did, 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 like mad. Uh, yeah. Bam, I was just having a fist fight, mate. I was like, you want some? I was like, you got no fans? 
He was giving it the beef. I shot him like mad. Um, sooner or later, he's dead. No, that's not him dying, that was him. And Todd died. Okay, we're nearly there now. We've got one boss left. Um, where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? There he is. He's coming for me good and crap. I had to jump over him then. Nearly dying. I was like, damn this, I'm retreating. I retreated like shit. Getting hit from every... I don't know how I didn't die here. Really don't know how I did not die. Another ship, so that's like four ships, shiploads coming now. Um, but this is towards the end. So yeah, pe people started to die now. Nice Shit started to get real. And yeah, we've done it. Okay, we've done it. Um, I hope you guys have enjoyed this nice little guide. I'm going to try to do one of these uh, every week. Please give it a thumbs up if you uh, if you enjoy it. If not, then go away and subscribe for more Destiny content slash GTA slash anything really. If you want me to do anything, just comment underneath. I'll be happy to comply.